Now in full range of motion, you should have 60 degrees of extension and 180 degrees of flexion without any compensations at your spine. Now in exercises like overhead press or like handstands, if you lack in full range, you're going to find an extra range in your thoracic lumbar area. It's very hard to brace your anterior core and be in a nice neutral position if you're lacking shoulder flexion. Now the two tests we're going to do is going to be an active and a passive. Before we get into those, I have to mention about alignment issues of the shoulders that will affect your joint kinematics. Now, if someone comes in with elevation, depression, retraction, or more of a cathodic position, these will all affect the test and the outcome of it. So just be aware of those. For the passive test, lay face up, keep your lower back flat against the floor. Let gravity act as your assistance and bring your arm back as far as you can without any excessive extension at your lower lumbar or rib cage rising. For the active test, you're gonna actively contract your anterior delt, pec major, corcobrachialis, and bicep brachii to try to get your arms overhead without the lower back coming off the wall.